Tonight, our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post are giving us an exclusive look at how some area dive teams train to handle fast moving waters. Now, seeing what this is like is more important than ever before, considering a Buffalo police officer died during a training exercise just last year. Now, our Daniela Porat from Investigative Post shows us what today was like and asks why Buffalo police did not take part in this Two on Your Side Investigative Post original report. It's been eight months since Officer Craig Lehner drowned in the Niagara River during a training exercise with the Buffalo Police Underwater Recovery Team. We've documented the gaps in training that led up to that fatal dive, from the fast currents in the river to the lack of crucial safety and communications equipment. Today, we got the chance to see local law enforcement agencies do swift water dive training in Tonawanda, some miles downstream on the Niagara River from where Laner drowned. This was their third day of intensive training. A total of 25 divers from Ellicott Creek Fire, the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, Tonawanda City Police and Rochester Police, among others, participated. We really tried to instill the safety aspect of diving in this type of environment. Current diving can be extremely dangerous. We provided the knowledge and some techniques, how they can mitigate some of those safety issues that they're confronted with. One agency that wasn't there, the Buffalo Police. I called the department spokesperson to see why the Buffalo Police wasn't participating in this training. I haven't heard back. After a lecture portion of the program on Saturday, the trainees went into the pool at Sweet Home High School. In the pool, trainees... We moved into a very controlled setting where they were able to implement those emergency procedures, practice them, and kind of give them the muscle memory skill to react if uh, an actual emergency does occur in the water. And from there, we progressed into the current itself. Yeah, this is about as far as I can make it. Today, they conducted search patterns to find these objects. The water in this part of the river is about 20 feet deep and moving at about four knots, a safe current to train in. Yesterday, they found a gun. It provided the, the opportunity for several agencies to all come together and work together and learn each other's capabilities, their strengths, so in the event that they have a, an emergency in the water, they're certainly capable of handling it. All of this in stark contrast to how Buffalo police trained Laner and his colleagues to dive in swift water. Earlier this year, Laner's family filed a notice of claim against the city, a precursor to a lawsuit. For Channel 2 News, I'm Daniela Porat with Investigative Post.